are many factors that affect your blood sugar levels, and what you choose to eat is a big one. In the Dario app, you can track your meals and carbohydrate intake for better understanding how specific foods affect your numbers. By tracking both your blood sugar levels and carbs in the same app, you and your healthcare provider can identify your blood sugar patterns, and from there, create a personalized eating plan that benefits you and your diabetes management. I'm here with my go-to snack, Greek yogurt with berries and oats. Before I dig in, let me take a pre-meal reading to know my blood sugar level. Let's look in the app to see how I will track these foods in relation to my pre-meal and post-meal blood sugar readings. After every reading, the data entry page appears. This is one of the most important pages in the app because the more information you feed this page, the more information you gain in return about the patterns and trends of your blood sugar levels. The first thing to do when you arrive at the data entry page is to tag the type of reading. You can track many factors here, including carbs. When you press on the word carbs, a sliding scale appears for a quick way to enter in your total carb value, if you already have your carb count. Another option is to photo journal your meal by pressing on the gray circle with a camera. This doesn't provide a carb count, but it does give you a visual of your portion size and what you ate. To the right, tap on the arrow to arrive at the add food item page. The search bar at the top easily lets you search a food, see its carb value, and add it to your food log. As soon as you add two or more items, you can save them together as a combo, which will always appear under My Food Menu, giving you a convenient way to add foods that you eat together frequently. Saving combos makes tracking carbs efficient and is a great option for those who regularly eat the same meals. If you can't find the food you're looking for in the search bar, tapping on Add New Food allows you to create your own food item with a corresponding number of carbs. There's one more great way to track your carbs, and that's the barcode scanner. By simply scanning the barcode of any packaged food, the app imports the carb value and adds it to your food log. When you finish tracking your meal, head back to the data entry page and press on the check mark to save. Here in the logbook, you can see my pre-meal blood sugar along with the total carbs of my meal. Whether you choose to track your carbs connected to a pre-meal reading on a data entry page not connected to a reading or connected to a post-meal reading is up to you. The important thing is to pick one way and stick to it to make your logbook easy to read. While I'm waiting to take my post-meal reading, let's look at some other pages in the app related to carbs. Tap on the three bars on the upper left, tap on my results, and then statistics. Among the array of useful statistics, you can find your average daily carb intake. You can choose anywhere between today, last 7, 30, or 90 days. Head on back to the menu, tap on settings, and then food menu. We spoke earlier about creating combos, and this is the perfect page to build up your food menu by creating combos. Tap on two or more items, and you'll see the save as combo option appear below. Combos you create here will be available on the Add Food Item page for easy access. Welcome back! I took my post-meal reading, and you can see from the logbook that I tagged it as post-meal. Now I have a clear picture of my blood sugar before I ate, how many carbs I ate, and my blood sugar now, after I ate. I'm happy with my post-meal number, but when you see a number that is higher than your post-meal target blood sugar range, take a moment to examine what you ate and the total carb value. Over time you will learn which foods spike your blood sugar level and which foods help you stay in your healthy range. Testing around meals gives you valuable insight into your diabetes management and is a great way to reach your health goals.